Namaste, welcome to YBI Foundation. Let's learn, practice and upskill. Let's understand about CSV file. What is CSV file? A. Comma separated values or CSV file is a text file used to store data in a tabular format like a spreadsheet. Each line in the CSV file represents a row and within that row, the values are separated by commas, acting like boundaries between different columns. CSV files are widely used because it's simple, lightweight and can be easily imported or exported by various software such as Excel or Python. Now let's talk about some key properties of a CSV file. First, CSV files are plain text format which means it's easy to read and edit in any text editor. Second, CSV files are lightweight making them perfect for storing large amounts of data without consuming too much space. Third, CSV files are easy to export and import due to its simple structure. Fourth, in CSV files, the data is separated by commas, making it easy to distinguish between different values. Fifth, CSV files don't support complex formatting like bold text, colors, or formulas. They strictly handle raw data. Finally, CSV files are universally compatible, so most software applications can easily read and write CSV files. Now understand what are the commonly used separators or delimiters in CSV files. CSV files can use various separators or delimiters. The common separators are comma, semicolon, tab, pipe, colon, slash, hash. CSV files can technically use any character as a delimiter. Now understand each of the above separator in detail. Most common separator used in CSV files is the comma which separates each value in a row. For example, let's look at this data. Here, you can see that each piece of information like student ID, name and marks is separated by a comma. This format makes it easy to organize and import the data into different programs or tools. In many European countries, commas are used as decimal separators, so instead of commas, semicolons are often used to separate values in CSV files. Let's take a look at an example. In this case, the semicolon acts as the separator between the student ID, name and marks, making the data easy to manage. Another common format is TSV or tab separated values where tabs are used to separate the data. Unlike commas or semicolons, tabs are less visible but very effective especially in cases where the data itself might contain commas or semicolons. Here's an example of a TSV or tab separated format. Student ID, tab, name, tab, marks. Using tabs helps avoid confusion when dealing with complex data that may already include commas or semicolons. In some cases, when the data contains commas, semicolons, or tabs, a different separator is needed. In these situations, the pipe symbol or vertical bar is often used. It's especially useful when dealing with unstructured or complex data. Let's look at an example. Here, the pipe symbol separates the fields, ensuring clarity even if the data itself includes other common separators. Sometimes, when other delimiters like commas, semicolons, or tabs are already present in the data fields, a colon can be used as the separator. This helps avoid conflicts and keeps the data organized. Here's an example. 
In this case, the colon separates the fields, providing a clear structure while avoiding any confusion with other characters that may be part of the data itself. In certain custom datasets or log files, slashes are used as the separator. This format is often found in data structures where slashes naturally fit the context. Let's look at an example. Here, the slashes divide the fields, offering a simple and clean way to separate the data. In some custom applications, the hash symbol or hashtag is used to separate fields. This is often chosen when other common separators like commas or colons are already in use within the data. Here's an example. In this format, hash symbol acts as a unique separator, making it easier to handle and process the data. Let's understand how to read CSV file using the pd.read underscore CSV function from the pandas library. This function will take two arguments, first is file path and second an optional argument as set or separator. Now, let's break down the code. pd.read underscore CSV this is a function from the pandas library that reads csv file and converts it into a data frame which is a table like structure in pandas file path this is where you specify the location or address of csv file that you want to read set short for separator this parameter lets you specify which character is used to separate values in csv file if you don't provide a separator, pandas will assume the default separator as comma. Now understand how to read comma separated CSV file using the pandas library. First, import pandas library as pd. Read our CSV file using the pd.read underscore CSV function. We provide the file path or address. For comma separated files, there is no need to define sep or separator. Comma is a default separator for this function. Here is an example where we have a CSV file that contains student data such as student ID, name and marks. Pandas library will display the data in a neat tabular format just like a spreadsheet. You can now perform various operations on this data, such as filtering, sorting, and analyzing it. Now let's understand how to read a semicolon separated CSV file using the pandas library. First, we need to import pandas as pd. For reading semicolon separated files, we use the df equals pd.read underscore csv with the file path followed by sep equals semicolon in quotes. This time, we must specify the optional argument sep or separator because the default is a comma and here we are using the semicolon. Here's an example. We have student data in a CSV file with fields like student ID, name, and marks separated by semicolon. The data looks like this. If you don't specify the correct separator like this, df equals pt.read underscore csv with just the file path, it will not work properly. The correct syntax is df equals pd.read underscore csv with the file path and sep equals semicolon in quotes. Once you execute this, pandas will correctly read and display the data in a tabular format. Now let's understand how to read a tab separated file, also called a tsv file, using the pandas library. For reading tab separated files, we use the df equals pd.read underscore csv with the file path followed by sep equals a tab character inside quotes. 
This time, we must specify the optional argument sep or separator because the default is a comma and here we are using a tab. Here's an example. We have student data in a TSV file with fields like student ID, name and mark separated by tabs. The data looks like this. If you don't specify the correct separator like this df equals pt dot read underscore csv with just the file path it will not work properly the correct syntax is df equals pt dot read underscore csv with the file path and sep equals backslash t in quotes once you execute this pandas will correctly read and display the data in a tabular format Time to check your understanding. Did you know what does the SEP argument in the pd dot read underscore csv function do? Option A. It specifies the column to be used as the index of the data frame. Option B. It skips rows from the top of the csv file while reading. Option C. It defines the delimiter or separator to use when reading the csv file. Option D, it fills missing values in the CSV file with the default value. Which is the correct option? Your time starts now. The correct answer is option C, because the SEP argument in the pd dot read underscore csv function is used to specify the delimiter or separator that is used to split columns in the csv file. By default, the separator is a comma, but SEP argument allows you to use other delimiters like tab, semicolon, or spaces. For example, for a tab separated file, you would use pd dot read underscore csv with sep argument as tab. Let's practice and learn by doing. You are given a dataset in a tab separated format, commonly referred to as a tsv file. Your task is to read this file into a pandas data frame. But remember to specify the file as tab separated. To download the correct answer with explanation of all the practice problems for free, follow the instructions given in discussion or comment section. Let's like and subscribe for more quick insights. Thanks for watching. Adhik Jankari ke liye like kari, subscribe kari. देखने के लिए धन्यवाद